Hi students, this is Theranomax YouTube channel. 10th Standard Science Book Inside Interior Question and Answers of Biology 2 Marks Part 6 in the video. Let us go to the video. Moyarchi plus Pairchi is equal to Vetri. I always say that Moyarchi and Pairchi and you will be able to get a Vetri, my dear children. So, unless you have Moyarchi and Pairchi, you will not be able to get a Vetri. In the Theravi and Bark in Siranda Theravi, I recommend any over Theravi. Make a habit to think that every exam will be the best of your life. Your journey towards your dream has now begun. So, you are going to write a public examination. So, it started now. Chapter 12 Book Inside Interior Question and Answers for Chapter 12 Plant and Anatomy and plant physiology. What is vascular bundle? At the of the tissue system which consists of xylem and folium in the form of bundle. So the tissue system is xylem folium bundle the vascular tissue system. Vascular bundle. So let us go to the next question. What is a common step in aerobic and anaerobic pathway? And where is it occur in a cell? So what is a common step means glycolysis. Glycolysis is the common step in anaerobic aerobic pathway. And where it is occur means it occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. Cytoplasm is the common step in the end of glycolysis. Glycolysis is the common step in aerobic and anaerobic pathway. And it occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. Cytoplasm is the Next, structure of dicot root and label their parts. This is very important. So, we have structure la root hair, piliferous layer, cortex, phylum, and gelium. And here it's root hair and piliferous layer, and then goes to cortex and passage cell and phylum, pericycle, xylem, conjunctive uh, tissue, and Casparian strip. Let's go to the fourth question. Draw and label the different types of uh, conjoint vascular bundles that is folium, cambium and xylem, outer folium, outer cambium, xylem, inner cambium and inner folium. So conjoint collateral and open collateral and closed and bicollateral. Let us go to the next one that is chapter number 13 structural organization of uh, animals. What are the glands that embedded in the rabbit skin to set, regulate the body temperature? Dinna. First one on the sweat glands and sebaceous glands in Solranga. The other end gland are one on the sweat glands and another one is sebaceous glands in Solranga. So, end gland are Let us go to the next one. Chapter number 14 transportation in plants and circulation in animals. Define diffusion. Diffusion na in na, the movement of solid liquid and gaseous molecules. From a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. Higher level, lower level. Higher concentration to lower concentration without the utilization of energy is called diffusion. The movement of solid liquid and gaseous molecules from a region of higher concentration to a region of their lower concentration without the utilization of energy is called diffusion. I repeat. The movement of solid liquid and gaseous molecules form from a region of higher concentration to a region of their lower concentration without the utilization of energy is called diffusion. Let's go to the next one. Transportation in plants and circulation in animals. The second question, transpiration pull. So transpiration pull as water is lost from the leaves. Tanni lost out the pressure is created at the top of top to pull more water from the xylem to mesophyll cells. Like when the leaves leaves are not all the time, pressure top and the created at the top to pull. So, malar kranda, this is malar kranda, when pull pono more water from the xylem to mesophyll cell. This process is called transpiration. Pull. Tanni theva pordan tada, that pull pono. Let us go to the fifteenth chapter, nervous system. We write the functions of cerebellum. The functions of a cerebellum is maintenance of posture and balance. Allagoning maintenance of posture and balance. Coordinate voluntary muscle activity. Write the functions of cerebellum. Functions of cerebellum. Maintenance of posture and balance. Coordinate voluntary muscle activity. 
so these are the functions of cerebellum then plant and animal hormones identify the disorder with which the person show in the figure is suffering so identify the disorder which is the person shown in the figure so a disorder is a goitry it causes due to inadequate supply of iodine in our diet so goitry la irukra disorder irundaduna avangalukku enna avu inadequate supply of iodine vandu avanga udambula illa nu artham next go to how is corpus luteum found formed name the hormones segregated by the corpus luteum so corpus luteum is, is formed in the ovary allagoning is formed in the ovary from the ruptured foliage during ovulation allagoning corpus corpus luteum is formed in the ovary from the ruptured foliage during ovulation ovulation mulaiyama irukumbodhu adu indha mari form aagum hormone segregated in the progesterone adukku peru அதுக்கு பேர் ப்ரொகஸ்டியன் நெக்ஸ்ட் ரைட் இனி டூ ஃபிசியாலஜிக்கல் எஃபெக்ட் ஆஃப் எத்தலின் எத்தலின் வந்து ரெண்டு ஃபிசியாலஜிக்கல் எஃபெக்ட் எது எதுனா இட் ப்ரமோட்ஸ் த ரைப்னிங் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் இட் ப்ரமோட்ஸ் த ரைப்னிங் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் டொமேட்டோ ஆப்பிள் மேங்கோ அண்ட் பனானா டூ ஃபிசியாலஜிக்கல் எஃபெக்ட் ஆஃப் இத்தலின்னா இட் ப்ரமோட்ஸ் ரைப்னிங் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் டொமேட்டோ ஆப்பிள் மேங்கோ அண்ட் பனானா இட் பிரேக்ஸ் த டார்மன்சி ஆஃப் பர்ட்ஸ் சீட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்டோரேஜ் ஆர்கன்ஸ் it breaks the dormancy of buds seeds and storage organs so it is the end physiological effect of ethylene then then goes to what is parthenocarpic fruit given an example seedless fruits without fertilization adavud seedless fruits n irukka and without fertilization but by the external application of auxins are called parthenocarpic fruits seedless fruits without fertilization but by the external application of auxins are called parthenocarpic fruits example watermelon grapes and lime seedless fruits without fertilization but by the external application of auxins are called parthenocarpic fruits watermelon grapes and lime write the importance of fertilization in 17th chapter report erection in plants and animals write the importance of fertilization in plants it stimulates the ovary to develop into fruit and the second point is that helps in development of new characteristics it stimulates the ovary to develop into fruits and it helps in development of new characteristics then 18th chapter differentiate phenotype and genotype phenotype is nothing but external expression of a particular trait genetic expression is in a organization organism and phenotype ratio is 3 is to 1 and genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. So, put together is 4. So, here it is T3 is to 1 and here 1 is to 2 is to 1. Origin and Ovulation of Life, 13th chapter. Write the importance of Ethnobotany. It provides traditional uses of a plant. It gives information about certain unknown and no, known useful plants. The ethnomedicinal data will serve as a useful source of information. for the chemists pharmacologists and practitioners of herbal medicine so the importance of ethnobotany is it provides traditional uses of plant it gives more information about certain unknown and known useful plants ethnomedicinal data will serve as a useful source of information for the chemists pharmacologists and practitioners of herbal medicines let's go to the next one define biofortification Biofortification is the scientific process of developing crop plants enriched with high levels of desired desirable nutrients called vitamins proteins and minerals let me tell you the process which is developing crop plants with high levels of desired nutrients so adha enna vitamin protein and minerals example protein shakti and ratna lysis are rich maize hybrids this is called biofortification so let us go to the 21st chapter health and diseases to find drug addiction and drug abuse this is very important a person who is habituated to a drug due to this prolonged use adha vandu continuous a use panitirukumbodhu you will we will get to that addicted that is habituated that is called as drug addict and this is called as drug addiction or drug abuse a person which is who is habituated to drug due to this prolonged use continuous use so that is called as drug addict next is called what is 4r approach the 4r approach is called 
reduce reuse recover and recycle so this is very important reduce reuse recover and recycle is followed for effective waste management so the 4r approach such as reduce reuse recover and recycle is followed for effective waste management then list out the advantages of tidal energy so advantages of tidal energy is it does not provide any pollution it does not use any fuel it does not produce any waste it can generate electricity at lower speeds of water tides are predictable so it can be produced at any time so let me tell you the five points are there you can try it at least three parts is enough it doesn't provide produce any pollution it does not use any fuel does not produce any waste it can generate electricity at lower speeds of water tides are predictable so it can be produced at any time so with this i hope in the video ungalku purinjirukum please subscribe to thrillmax youtube channel and follow your friends also about this channel and i wish you all success in your exams stay tuned for more updates on exam for your public examination by dear children take care bye